Hello, welcome back to another episode of Feed the Beast Monster on the Nebulous server with me, Cosmic Knight. Okay, before we uh, uh, crack on with the episode, I just want to show you something. A friend of mine just started playing and he was asking about Glowstone. Because so I said to him, uh, first thing you need to do is get a jetpack if you want to go to the nether. And he looked up the recipe and said, well you can't um, go to the get a jetpack until you've been to the nether. And I said, well, you're right, because if you look at all the recipes for glowstone, um, you need glowstone to get more glowstone, or a block of glowstone, or maybe a scrap box if you're lucky, um, or breed some bees, you know, which is quite a long drawn out process, but you know, you just end up going around in circles. But there is a recipe that's not listed, and this is it. All you need to do is have five redstone and four pulverized gold and you will get one glowstone and it's as simple as that it's not shown in the NEI but the this recipe does exist so if you want glowstone before going to the nether so you can build a jetpack just for safer transit when you're over there this is the key this is in well it's been in all the feed the beast mod packs I've played I'm not sure what mod adds it um, <coughs> but it works and just to prove that it works, there you go. So four pulverized gold and five redstone. Oh, I just wanted to um, put that out there. So if the rest is uh, rest of the episode is no good, you should learn something. Okay, so what I want to do this episode is move my uh, big reactor. Okay, so I've just been charging that little bit. So I'm just going to shut this down and. Uh, Take take any fuel I've got in there, which I haven't got any at the moment actually. Uh, got a little bit of waste there. I just want to move this over to the new base. So here we go. I've wasted a bit of fuel there, but that'd be okay. Okay, so I think we've got everything. We'll come back for this later. Uh, I've actually made some power armor uh, just for the um, water, underwater breathing and night vision. And also, uh, I've got some sprint and bits and pieces and shock absorber on the boots. Um, I was just killing a bit of time while I was waiting for some uh, materials to finish the machines. So I thought oh, that I'll just make some power armor. I do need to add some armor upgrades to it though. Okay, well, um, not much has changed here. I've put a new floor down, um, make it look a, bit, a little bit nicer. I want to change some of these to uh, mossy cobby, mossy slabs. Uh, this is a new room. Um, this is going to be my bedroom, so I'm going to have a bed here and a bit of furniture about. So this is the uh, Tinker's Construct glass, and I'm not sure if I like it really. Um, I think it looks okay. But I don't know if I'd want the whole building in this colour or this type of glass. I think it would just be a bit too transparent. I, I quite like, uh, well, I wouldn't say I like the texture of the vanilla Minecraft glass, but it's got a bit more than that. Anyway, let's crack on. Uh, I've installed an elevator and dug out a basement. So this is going to be all my power generation in here. And this is where my reactor is going to go for my um, uh, RF redstone flux. So this is the layout uh, of my cores. So if we get building, you'll see what I mean. So I'm building this. It wants to be four high, so that's two in the middle. For my uh, cores. Oops. I should have plenty of reactor casings. I have some spare, I think. Because I made sure I had enough over here before I uh, dis disassembled the other one. Right, so if we just knock these out. So I'm going to fill in all the bottom. OK, 
Okay, so just so I uh, know where it is and keep it lit up. Oh, I just want to say as well, um, the recipe for the big reactor has changed. When I made my small one, this was iron. Now it's steel, uh, which is a bit of a nuisance to make, uh, to be fair. The way I've been making it is... Um, I don't think that... Where's the recipe for it? Let me see if I can find it. Um, what was it? Railcraft, I think. So you, well, you can do it a couple of ways. You can put four coal round one iron to make steel dust, and you can just smelt that, and that'll um, give you one piece of iron. But what I've been doing in the um, uh, in industrial smelter can't see it on there, I'll show you, it'd be easier because it's quite I think it's a lot cheaper so it's worth um, worth taking the time to show you it doesn't take long just to fly over there with my power armor now the setup I've got I actually uh, generate more energy than I use uh, so I've got the little kinetic upgrade on my legs yeah so in the induction smelter so what I've been doing I've been putting iron one side should we have a look at the recipes on here let's see if I can find it and then you put um, coal dust so uh, iron you don't have to put powder you can just put um, iron ingot and coal dust Otherwise, coal, coal, whatever you want to call it, uh, and that will cook it up. It doesn't work with. Um, there's another one there. See that? And it gives you um, one ingot. But well, you've got to use four coal for that, and one iron, and two coal. So that's not a very cheap way of doing it. Um, where was the other one I was? I was going to do. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this one you can use four charcoal and one iron, and that gives you one steel. So that's not too bad. So if you've got a tree farm and you've got stacks of uh, coal, you know, the stacks of wood you can just cook up that's probably the cheapest way because that's uh, come from a renewable source ok let's crack on with the uh, big reactor and I've also put some uh, some kelp outside as well just to make it, I might move them away from the building a little bit so blocking the water. Not sure. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to put one there, one there, one there, one there, all around the edge. Oh, not one there. Okay, so I want one there, one there, and one there, and one there. Now I want to fill this in with reactor glass you don't have to put reactor glass in, you can just use the casings um, I probably should have done that on the back here oh, I'm just missing some um, reactor casing down the back there gotta make sure it's got the full structure So that's that encased. So next we want to put our um, uh, fuel rods in. So, but what I'm going to do, I'm just going to knock this out. Because I'm also going to put water in here. And water helps keep the uh, fuel rods cooler. Okay, so I want to make sure I put this in the right place. So one there, one there. One there, one there, one there. So I've, got, I've come up with this design. Um, because this will give me water on four sides of each fuel rod. Uh, I don't know if it matters that they're touching, uh, but from my testing, this should work okay. Okay, then what we need to do, I just want to make an infinite water source. I'm just going to make it here for now. 
so we want some buckets of water okay actually I'm just going to knock these out as well it's worth doing this just so you know you get it all in the right place pick these up okay so I want to make sure I get a nice lot of water everywhere so just kind of work my way around and oops um, one there one there okay one there one there of course I want to put them in the middle here Uh, you probably wouldn't need to be this uh, this fussy uh, if you don't want to. I think as long as it's got flowing water, but I like to have it fully saturated if I can. Okay, so if we put one there and one there. Should nearly be there now. These last couple can be a sod to get. I don't think that was one missing there. Okay, that's near enough. It doesn't really matter. Let's just try and get this one. Okay, that do. Right, so what we need to do next is grab the fuel rod controllers. So we need five of them. Okay, so they go on the top of the fuel rods. Uh, and then we need some more reactor casings just to finish this up. Okay, so I want access to the top here because you can actually um, lower and raise the control rods. So that's why there's a, a two block gap up there. Right, and what we also need to do, we need to put our fuel in, our, our power out, and our controller. So I'll put that there. So that's our um, power out. No, I want the uh, controller there actually. And I want the fuel out here, sorry, the power out here. And I'm going to have the fuel in and out here. But I might move them around to one side at a later date. But this will do for now. Okay, now we have a fully working, well, it's not working yet, but it will be working. Um, RF reactor. So I'm just going to pause it, I'm just going to go and get some fuel. Uh, and we're back and we'll fire this thing up. Be right back. Okay, and we're back. Right, so I bought a chest for the waste like I did last time, so that can just stay there. Um, I'm going to bung in the fuel. So, as you can see, the fuel rods are empty at the moment. So, if we stick one in, that fills them up. And this one, so they're all fully saturated now. Um, as you can see, full and 100% enriched. So what I want to do, just just to show you how this works, I've got the, the energy cell that I had a minute ago. Right, so these are hardened energy conduits, and these accept 400 RF per tick. So, and this accepts 400 as well. And I can't remember off the top of my head uh, how much this is going to give out, but 
uh, I've done it this way because eventually I can expand this down. I think if if I go another three uh, uh, fuel rods, so there's two there now. So if I do another three and all five down, then in total that should give me two thousand RF per tick, which is if you look at the um, uh, the conduit. Yes, here uh, that ha that accepts uh, ten thousand, but the energy cells uh, only accept two thousand in and out. So there's not really much point having much more than that at that stage. I oh, mind you, that one accepts ten thousand, doesn't it? Which is the resonant, but that's just a pain to make. So I'm not going to be messing about that just yet. Uh, but then obviously I can keep going down to get ten thousand. So let's turn this on and see how much uh, power we get. Yeah, I thought it would be, I, I seem to remember being about seven, eight, eight hundred. So each RF, so a hundred RF is um, 10 MJ. So that's about, well, just, just a 72 MJ then basically. Uh, you know, which is pretty good. Pretty good. That's going to run a um, a quarry. Look how quickly that's filling up. You know, that's going to run a quarry pretty quick. Well, maximum speed, I think. I think they accept 50 MJ. So that's going to give me plenty left over. And what I'm going to do over here, I'm going to set up a um, an applied energistic setup. Uh, so all my like the the um, assembly chamber and bits and pieces is going to be down here. And over here, I might dig out a safe room for my nuclear reactor for my EU and have that pipe upstairs but I'll have this go upstairs and then uh, have my uh, think, uh, thermal expansion uh, machines along here um, my applied energy six machines up here it's like the uh, construction monitor and bits and pieces like that and then just my um, a macerator and a washing plant and bits and pieces here. See what I could, what I'm thinking about doing is when I need to get water in, I should be able to put a um, aqueous, accum aqueous accumulator outside and just bring a pipe in through the wall. Uh, that then should then uh, give me all the water I need. So yeah, I'm really pleased with uh, my reactor. So now that's in here, I can start making this my permanent residence. That's full already, Christ. So that's actually kicking out more power uh, than that pipe can handle because that's uh, that's not full, and that's filling up. So quite pleased with that, and you can see the heat there is 400 C. Uh, that the water helps keep it cool. Obviously, the cooler something is, the more efficient it runs. So I think I'm going to leave the episode there. I wanted to get that up and running on camera. Uh, so I've not seen too many people play with these yet. But they are quite simple really. Uh, oh yeah, I was just going to show you as well. If you, you can actually raise these fuel rods. And you, you then you can then regulate how much uh, RF you make. Which is quite cool. And it also helps the temperature. Cool. Okay, well, yeah, I'm going to end the episode here, and I'll see you next time. Take care.